Hi guys, today is a product review day. We've got a wonderful digital multimeter from GBDA. This company is sponsoring the multimeter. But what is important to tell is this is a new version of one device we already know and the company likes to listen to the clients and they make improvement. Now let's know about the product. It comes with a standard thermocouple with banana connectors. And this is interesting. There is an USB cable for charging the multimeter. That means the battery in this case is inside of the multimeter. Now let's take a look to the test leads. In a quick review, we can find out it is 10 amperes. And let me see if I can find the category. Probably have to remove the cap. It is category 2 in 1000 volts. The test lead is not too soft, it's not hard anyway. But something I like in this case is a short test lead because this is a multimeter we use on the table and we don't need long leads for it. There is a manual and the manual is totally in English. The cover is a little bit flexible but also hard made the material and the poppy is something different than the last version we already know. With the quality already know, but the new improvements, let's check the improvement number one. The DC barrel connector for charging. So the battery is 3.9 volts and any charger 5 volts with 1 ampere capability is able to drive and to charge this multimeter. And this is the improvement number 2. Many of you wanted the multimeter to, to stand on the table, so they improve with a very good quality standing leg. Yes, with the feature that it will guide you where do you have to connect the leads, it starts in the auto mode that means the multimeter will select between volts, ohms or continuity by itself doesn't matter if you are making the measurement of 1.5 volts battery or you are making the measurement of 230 volts AC, the microcontroller will take care of it. And yes, one of the improvements you asked for was to put the banana connectors in front of the multimeter and not underneath. So the company did it. Something we truly hate, most of us, about the smart function is in the moment that we try to select the scale, the multimeter is going to advance only in one direction and we didn't have the possibility to come back unless we go all around the dial. And I said we didn't because now in this improvement I can go ahead with the selection of the function but also I am able to go backwards. So I can select whatever I want without the need to go all around with the multimeter. Now I can do 
left and right. That really is a good improvement. As we know, the screen is a beautiful view with a nice angle wherever we see it and that's great. It has the plastic and kind of rubber cover but it makes it very massive and hard. I mean, this is soft, but the hardness, I mean, how robust is the multimeter. Now let's try the smart function. Without touching anything here, I will let the microcontroller to check what I'm doing. I will start with the 10 volts reference. And it says 9.99 volts DC. I like also the bar on it. Okay, next one, resistors. One point two for one ohms because there is an internal resistance with the cables. Now let's try the continuity too. Mm -hmm. Great. For ten ohms, hundred ohms. 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohms, 100 kilo ohms, 1 meg, and 10 mega ohms. The next one maybe is the hardest one because this kind of devices, they assume they have a resistance in low voltage drop, but they need to get about 800 millivolts to be able to identify voltage. So in one diode, I might fail in the test. For a fast diode, it doesn't give me the diode voltage. It thinks it has a resistor there same with the silicon diode but if i invert the polarity with the diode i will not get either the diode test but i will see higher resistance or i will see nothing so at least helps me to identify the direction of one diode but I need to put it in the diode scale to test diodes. Probably in the same situation I will find myself if I try to light a LED. No one of them. But let's see without touching anything, I'm still between volts, ohms. We know diodes has to be after this point in the selective scale. Let's check now voltage AC and DC as example one battery one point two volts is great. I like the analog bar, it looks beautiful on it. And without touching anything, let's see the high voltage. 240 great so i didn't touch anything and the smart function took care of everything i was trying to do here that's great with this kind of devices and now the big improvement that i can select the function make it very nice now let's go with the diodes
for the normal fast silicon diode ok that's a diode silicon normal diode invert for the fast invert for the silicon there is no conduction and there is light on the LED the red one the yellow the green the blue and the white so I am able to test diodes with this multimeter that's great also I will not go today through capacitance measurements or something like that to make this uh, review fast because this is already a no product in the market and I just want to go to the near function to see where is this guy oh looks like it has here the sensor mm -hmm. in the direction of the arrow that's a good location high so if I use the positive lead It detects which one is the live line and that's great remember guys if you are going to make a measurement of resistance this guy is going to tell you where do you have to connect the test leads for it milliampers and amperes it has fuse protection and that's very important because nothing is perfect this multimeter doesn't have the standard separation between the banana connectors and we cannot use some of the accessories we use with the professional equipment anyway the improvement done that the connectors are in front satisfies the requirement of some of you guys as you need it in my case I like the ones down because it's easier when I put the multimeter in my pocket uh, maybe 90 degrees is not so comfortable for it on my pocket but it doesn't matter is there is not the best multimeter is the multimeter that fulfill your needs in the moment you're going to make the testing that's the best multimeter maybe I need it in my pocket I can lie it down on the table I don't need this stuff or maybe I need it vertically because I have to make a video and I need the best shot from the camera or the angle I'm working so it depends which one what is important now we have more resources to choose from I am in the smart function and I'm applying one volt RMS in one kilohertz and it's okay the measurement is on the specifications for the true RMS I like it a lot it's like a smartphone it's kind of thicker than a smartphone but very practical as a multimeter I like it like new technology nowadays everybody plugs everything to the USB charger and the battery is inside I don't have to change the battery just put it to recharge and that's it that's a modern device the screen went from LCD to color screen very nice beautiful colors smart function the bar analog bar the up and down buttons improvement the banana connectors are now in front with the feature of the flashing lights where i need to do the measurement the microcontroller taking care of what i have to do 
in this case the test leads are short and I like it a lot when I work uh, in on my workbench uh, when I used to work in industrial electronics I want them to be big and long here for me it's more practical if they are small and short the standard thermocouple so the device deserves a like so far I as I said this is a sponsored device GVDA wants to show they listen to you guys they apply everything you ask it for so the, uh, the multimeter deserves a thumbs up and I want you to visit the page the links are down below about this company and the pros they have it's a nice stock of pros for repairing for small uh, workshops for students and it's a great investment as you see we all guys we all engineers with experience and everything it's easy to blow a multimeter so functions like the smart function will protect the investment the hard investment for one student because maybe one professional engineer with a big salary can buy a good multimeter if something goes wrong but for one student uh, buying the multimeter from the money he saved from the food from the scholarship as I did it years ago is kind of hard so it's an excellent investment that has some kind of guarantee if you want to try it for workshop repairing uh, business is excellent too as you see it has the precision we require thanks GPDA see you in next video for more products review.